Life in prison, that's what the man you're seeing here on your screen will likely be doing. And you've likely heard us mention his name before. It's Damian Wilcoxon. He is accused of several crimes that include shooting at two Metro Police District offices. That was three years ago. Rich Van Wyk in the courtroom today as Wilcoxon learned his sentence for killing an 82-year-old man in Zionsville two and a half years ago as he went out to get the mail. Judge Matthew Kincaid called the murder a senseless and shocking crime. He said he saw no remorse from Damian Wilcoxon before sentencing him to the maximum prison term. In court, Wilcoxon said nothing in his own defense. There were times when he seemed to smile. What's your reaction to the sentence? 65 years for the cold-blooded and still unexplained murder of 82-year-old John Clements exactly what prosecutors asked for. My goodness, to walk up your driveway, uh, clear of day, broad daylight, and have someone do this to you is beyond comprehension. Neighbors got a good look at the getaway car, but only a vague description of the suspect. While Zionsville detectives searched for leads, two Indianapolis Police District headquarters were shot at. The gunman left behind threatening, racist, hateful notes and key evidence. The gun was the same one used in the murder. DNA pointed to Wilcoxon. A letter from John Clement's children was read in court. It describes how their ailing mother lost her husband and caregiver and now must live in a health care facility. It is common when we visit for her to be in tears trying to figure out how to get home, they wrote. It just makes you shake your head and, um, and makes you realize how precious life is. The judge added the 65-year sentence to the decades Wilcoxon is already serving in prison for shooting at the police stations. Even with good behavior, it's not likely that Will Coxon will be set free from prison until he's in his late 90s. Rich Van White, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Will Coxon is 23 years old. He has an extensive criminal history. We're told he intends to appeal the murder verdict. He was already appealing the sentence that he got for shooting up the Metro Police headquarters, and prosecutors say they weren't satisfied with that 37-year sentence as well because it was for only one of the crimes, and they want him sentenced fully.